Hey friends, it's Charles here, and I want to talk about Amazon's attack number six. Um, this has been, you know, I've, I, it's been a series I look forward to every month when it comes out. Uh, got me back into reading the Wonder Woman comics. It's been a big tie-in with those, and they're fighting a war, uh, or they're trying to prevent a war against man's world. And there's all of this nefarious shadow activity going on that is uh, feeding this war and, you know, painting the Amazons in a negative light. And this seems to be a finale, at least as far as this story goes. We have Nubia, we have Wonder Girl, Shazam, and, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's been interesting. It's been, it's been good. Um, the ending was a bit, from my taste, it was a little bit, the conclusion was a little bit heavy-handed. And don't get me wrong, I understand that, you know, feminism is a big part of the, it's it's the thing when it comes to Wonder Woman lore. Uh, if you look into the creator of Wonder Woman and what inspired her and her lasso of truth, you would be surprised to, um to hear the origins of the creation of this character. And so, you know, the, the finale is in line with the core tenets of Wonder Woman lore, but it's just a bit too on the nose for my taste. I would have en I would have enjoyed personally some more subtlety in the wrap up of this overarching story, but it doesn't take away from an action filled, you know, great story. And it falls in line with the lore and with the story. They didn't do anything to portray uh, the woman, woman um, universe, and so I appreciate that. And um, you know, I think you know they kind of, you know, there was so much subtext and mystery throughout this that I didn't expect the obvious ending, but still, it didn't ruin it for me. Um, you know, I suggest, you know, if you can go back, either when it, comes, when it comes out in trade, or if you can get, you know, get on this uh, series starting at number one and uh, the last few Wonder Woman issues. I mean, it's a great read. It's not time wasted, I'll tell you that. And I enjoyed it, and I really enjoyed seeing Nubia again. And, you know, Wonder Girl, I think her name is Zara. I enjoyed seeing her again. Uh, the Shazam character I was not familiar with. And this lady, whose name I cannot remember, she was in um, the last uh, big event in the Wonder Woman universe that tied that tied in um, um, that tied in Nubia and Wonder Girl and Wonder Woman, um, you know, and that was a fun one as well. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope they do more Nubia, more Wonder Girl. I really enjoyed this. If you haven't got into it. If you like Wonder Woman, you will not be disappointed. And um, so that's my thoughts on Amazon Attack. Um, it should be coming out in trades pretty soon. And, you know, if you're signed up to Previews World, but you don't have a local LCS, I always suggest my boy Jeff at Com Coffee and the Comics. Uh, safe, secure, speedy delivery. And uh, great customer service. You know, I've never set foot in his physical store, but he makes you feel like a small, like you're patronizing a small business. So that's it. My review, Amazon's Attack, I would give it an 8 out of 10 for the series and even this issue. There's some great action in this issue. I I, I, I almost didn't mention that. The uh, final battle is as epic as it should be. But um, I guess my issue is not so much with the tone or the action just like I said with the on the nose moral of the story so to say but everything else lives up to you know what you want in the comic you know I give it overall 8 out of 10 in my personal feelings 5 out of 10 for how they wrapped everything up 
But anyway, I'll see you guys next time with more toys, more comic books, and just more nerd culture. And uh, this is after WrestleMania, so congratulations, Cody Rhodes. Maybe I will do a video talking about my one Cody Rhodes action figure in a celebration of his big WrestleMania win. Who knows? Anyway, you guys, take it easy. I'll see you next time.